All right, well, I just had this uh, situation happen, and uh, it's not the first time it's happened, and uh, I was conscious of the fact that I handled it differently this time around than I've ha have handled it most of my life. And uh, the, the category is, uh, do you want to be uh, in the right, or do you want things to go smoothly? And uh, so I just had, I had this person uh, try to get something that uh, they hadn't earned, essentially. And uh, the first time it happened, I'm like, no, man, you got to, that's something you have to earn. I'm sorry, I've, I've got I've to obey the policies of the company I work for. And uh, yeah, it went wrong, went bad. Uh, some people use their emotions like a weapon. They're like, oh, yeah, well, I guess I'll just have a meltdown then. If you don't, uh, if you don't give me what I want, and so the second time around, the guy came. I saw him coming. Uh, I tried to, you know, tried to pull the sa exact same stunt. And this time, I'm like, Yeah, okay, man. Here you go. Here's what you want. Thank you. Goodbye. And you know, tried to be all cheerful with me, like, Oh yeah, we're all buddies now, right? And I'm like, No, <laughs> we're not all buddies. I just, I'd rather have things go smooth than uh, be in the right. And it reminded me of uh, probably the, the, the largest um, of me uh, wanting to be what I felt like was in the right. And that's a thing, too. That's, there, I mean, there really is no the right. Um, there's, you know, in a way that makes me feel like I haven't uh, capitulated or I don't, have to, I don't have to give in, that kind of thing. Um, I, I worked with this guy when I was a bike messenger. A bike messenger story for you. Um, and one of my very first experiences with him uh, was him uh, uh, insulting me. Um, you know, and I got, you know, I, pretty badly, actually. And uh, it was almost one of those things like, if, if it, if it would have been, like, less bad, um, it was like one of those things like, uh, you don't tell that to a man. <laughs> but it was so bad. It was one of those things like, uh, um, you know, unless I have a place to put the body. <laughs> I can't do anything about this right now. Um, and I guess, I guess what made that worse, that, uh, that terrible insulting encounter worse, is uh, I didn't know this guy. And he didn't know, he didn't know me. It was like this... Uh, you know, random act of, uh, of verbal violence. And, uh, and I ended up working with that guy for like two years. And it was a small company. And, uh, you know, so all, all us guys uh, and uh, occasionally uh, uh, girls uh, go out. Um, bike message tends to be uh, predominantly male. Um, but... Uh, we even go out to beers, and I'm like, I'll buy a pitcher of beer. I'm not going to say, hey, man, you, hey, the guy that cussed at me, don't, don't drink out of my pitcher. I'd actually make sure that he knew that he could drink out of my pitcher. Um, and he, like, uh, was the same way. Like, he didn't, he didn't, like, he didn't try to make things worse after that terrible, terrible encounter. Um. Maybe because he thought, actually, I might be preparing a spot for the body. <laughs> um, but after two years of this, uh, he approached me in a, uh, in a real public way, uh, pretty much amongst a uh, the, the lot of my co-workers, and, and to explain to himself. He's like, hey, man, uh, I, when he first started working here, I'd heard about you, and I'd heard some, uh, some terrible things. And now I just realize that those people were, uh, were lying to me and actually trying to start a problem. And uh, kind of using, you know, that guy uh, against me. And uh, maybe even hoping I would do something about it and end up losing my job in some sort of uh, act of workplace violence right off the bat. Um, and so he explained it, and uh, in my mind I thought, I know what... Um, how things should go well here. How things should go well is, I should say, well, you know, I guess, I guess we learned a lesson here, um, and uh, I think that it's, you know, really cool, and 
mature of you to, to, to actually do it in front of everybody and give me your apology. Um, and I accept, man. I hope, uh, hope from now on when we're sitting down around a pitcher of beer with the rest of the guys that, uh, you know, I could, I could say, hey, how was your weekend? And, uh, and you could say, hey, it was really good, man. Hey, we're going for, we're going for a ride out to the lake later. Uh, why don't you come along? And I'm like, yeah, sure, man. Who doesn't like lakes? But I was thinking I needed to be in the right. I needed to be in Earl's right. I mean, I didn't, uh, I didn't slam him into the ground like a basketball like I wanted, so I felt like I'd earned something. I, so, uh, so when he told me this, I'm like, oh, okay, man. No, I don't, uh, I, I accept your explanation, but I don't uh, accept your apology, and I'm not going to shake your hand. And we're not going to be friends, and I'm not going to go, uh, you know, ride to the lake with you later for a swim. And my coworkers were like, oh, Earl, just accept the guy's apology. He's trying to be cool. He's trying to fix things, trying to make it right. And trying to put your, your half of making it right once again, just like you didn't uh, start a fight, you know, in the beginning. Like, now it's time to step up to the plate again and uh, be a man about it and say, uh, uh, I accept and let's, uh, let's forget about this whole thing. Let's, uh, let's just... Just, just drop it and have things go fine. But instead, I didn't. I, uh, I got, I let my pride or whatever, or um, I don't know. Maybe I wanted to upset him, like he upset me, and I wanted to do it in a legit way. I told him that uh, I'd put put up with two years of um, his aggressive to passive aggressive bull, and uh, so now maybe he should put up with two years of. Uh, of him knowing he was in the wrong and uh, me not accepting his apology. Two years of no handshake. And I don't know, I'm thinking now that uh, I'm thinking now that made a mistake. That didn't uh, that didn't get me anything. I don't really feel like I was you know, by, by claiming my right, like that I'm in the right I don't feel that that made me any better. Um, and I, I think my coworkers had a point. Like if I, if I, if I manned up the first time, didn't cause a problem uh, when he tried to start one. Um, why didn't I man up the second time and put that uh, problem away, uh, bury that problem? Yeah. I, well, I guess. I, gosh, I, I kind of. I feel like that went from. This confused feeling inside to actually thinking um, I believe actually it is more important to have things uh, be calm than actually to try to claim whatever thing it is I feel is right yeah alright thanks for coming for my walk